Hello everyone, Goldcoin here and welcome to another city builder. This time we'll be playing Timberborn, a city builder where our humans, as, as you can see in the background and probably in the thumbnail, we're going to be playing a city builder that we have to manage a colony of beavers. The game was released on September 15th of 2021 and it's actually currently in early access on Steam. This game, has, it's a game I've been wanting to play since its launch, but I never had time to do so. So let's go ahead, start a new game here. We have, uh, we can choose two factions uh, the folk tales and the iron thief uh, it looks like the iron thief it's unlocked when we reach a well-being of 11 so let's go ahead and play with the default one we can choose any map here so we're gonna go with the recommended and then we're gonna do the normal difficulty and so let's go ahead and see what the game has in store for us what would you like to call your settlement let's go ahead and do coinham or we can actually do gold ham no i think coinham sounds better coinham perfect Let's do coin ham. Let's click OK. It looks like we have a little tutorial here in the bottom. It says, welcome. This tutorial will help you with all the basis of building a beaver settlement. Every new settlement is locked. So let's do a lumberjack. This is flashing. So I played this game a little bit just, you know, just to try it out and know what to do at the beginning. So we have to place these little lumberjacks flags in order to basically start cutting some trees or eating some trees, huh? <laughs> so... As you can see here, the blue the blue area is that what the flag covers. So let's go ahead and place them kind of around this area. And I'm going to place two of them. So let's go ahead and tell the beavers to start doing it. And we can actually build path. The path are, are not, uh, you know, limited here. There's no, they don't need to build them. So all we need to do is bring this down here and all the way down here. And there you go. We connect things with the path. We can actually remove paths we don't want to in the future. It, there is no penalty of doing so. So we can do this and destroy the path, right? But, you know, we can play with the path all that we want. If things doesn't work out the way we want, we can rebuild them. So we have, so it looks like uh, nothing to do in range is because we haven't assigned the cutting area. So what we need to do is go here, cut trees, and then select all the trees that we want or all the area. So let's go ahead and cut. Let's go ahead and cut all of these for now. So let's go ahead and continue on the tutorial. We already did that. We already did that. We already did that. We're way ahead of you, game. <laughs> so let's take a look real quick at the map. The map is pretty nice. It's a hex. You know, it's a squares as you can see. No, I was gonna say hex. I'm just thinking about foundation. <laughs> so there is water here. There's a lot of water. And as you can see, the, the land is green close closer to the water, but the farther you get from the water, the darker it gets. So less fertile, right? Looks like we have some sort of, uh, yeah, obstacle here, barrier that we can actually demolish. And I'm thinking maybe that fills up with water. Maybe this becomes greener. All right, so we have to build a water pump. Where do we want to build a water pump? Of course, the beavers have to drink water. Uh, they kind of go directly into the river. I don't know why, but <laughs> if they want a water pump, let's do a water pump. So it looks like it's not letting us. It says the construction site is too far from builders. Build more path. Okay, so we need to build a path to connect it. So let's go ahead and build this path all the way down here. I'm thinking we're maybe going to use this area for water pump. So let's go ahead and do one here. We can actually build dams and everything. Oh, now <laughs> I build it way too down. So let's go ahead and call, uh, erase this. Yes. And then let's let's go ahead from this area. What if we can build it? Can we build it now? Yes, we can. Perfect. So do we want to build it all the way down here? I think it's way too far. So let's go ahead and build a couple of them. Kind of like in this area. I like, I like how it, you know, it's not aligned perfectly. It's just different, you know, different styles here. So let's go ahead and connect the path here. So what we need to do is build a path here and build a path here. And then all the way down here. Perfect. All right. So once we build the water pumps, we should be, you know, let's go ahead and speed up time here a little bit. All right. So we have some berries here. The game, the you know, it's the game is very, very, very big uh, in terms of the things that you can do. So as you can see, we have everything unlocked, quote unquote. But when it's red, it means that we need technology to unlock it. For, exa for example, the wooden stairs, it's going to cost us 70 uh, you know, points, basically, to unlock it. Or technology points, that is. And you can see here on the top, 
we have like the population well-being right now it's sitting at three we need 11 to unlock the iron teeth uh we have the technology points here or yeah the science points and night is here and i'm not gonna skip it this time you guys because i want to show you if you haven't watched seen this game before the beavers will actually fall or go to sleep and they will do nothing but sleep right it's like uh, humans right I never I, I think I haven't played a city builder. It's been a while since I played a city builder where where the citizens, or in this case the beavers or the villagers, don't do anything at night. As you can see, they're not doing anything. They are sleeping, right? And it's you know it's pretty pretty good, pretty nice, because you have to plan ahead and you can take a look at the forecast here. That we get droughts, meaning we don't get water, meaning that uh, our beavers can die from you know thirsts. All right, it's the morning again and back to where we were, were. So basically these indicators here, we, you know, we have materials. We're currently sitting at nothing, but we have the food. We have uh, currently, we have some berries and then we have the logs and we have the water. Now the berries are these ones right here that we're going to be collecting. The thing about this city center, what I'm thinking here is maybe too far away from, from the main things. We don't have that, that much wood in here. So we will need to be on. Uh, we'll need to place a forester, but that's gonna cost us sixty science points. So that's something we need to consider. So we might want to actually expand this way and try to see if we can basically, you know, get these berries from here. I, well, there, I think there is a. Yep, we can actually put another district center, and the more district center we have, of course, the more range in the map we have. And, you know, different st things that you can do with different uh, district centers. As you can see, we can rename the districts. So this one is District 1. We can actually move it early early in the game if we want to. We can place it here or here, maybe. Whatever it suits best for us. But I'm going to leave it here just for now. We have 11 ho homeless uh, beavers. We're not going to worry about that just yet. And then we finish the quest. We have to build a gatherers flag so the gatherer's flag is right here see it covers a lot of terrain right so we're gonna do right here i think that's a good place maybe this is gonna be used for something in the future a water pump or something but i'm just gonna place it here once we are uh, out of berries i'll build a something else here all right so how are the wood production going we have currently sitting at 12 the flag needs one wood and this is needs uh actually no no one would uh nothing yeah just for beaver to come in here and this needs six more woods all right let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit so there's a lot of things that we can build we can do landscaping to see we can build a dam basically to retain the water and i'm thinking maybe the dam will will help us a lot in the future for droughts because that way you retain the water and you know it doesn't flow away all right, what else we have? We have Livy, we have flo floodgates. Oh, we can make a... Oh, perfect. So we can have floodgates. So if we want to flood certain area, we can do that. That's pretty nice. We double floodgate, triple floodgate, quadruple? No. <laughs> explosives factory. Oh, wow. I wonder what we we need a explosives factory for. Manufacturing explosives from paper. Hmm, interesting. And then dynamite. So if we want to open more... Hmm, that's interesting. So, you know, you use dynamite to destroy land to let the water flow into that piece of land. Interesting. All right, so the gatherer's flag is finished. So we have to tell, I'm assuming, a settlement is a stable. Okay, so we need to build a farmhouse. And I'm going to be building this right here. I think this is a perfect location for a farmhouse. Uh, we can do it actually in the middle if we want to. But this is, you see, this area is not as fertile. So I'd rather build it here and use all this space for actually, let's go ahead and cancel that real quick. Let's build it here and we'll do a farm in between. You know what I mean? So we can rotate the building. So we can do this way and we can take advantage of more land here. It's either or, <laughs> I just basically did the same thing, but at least we're gonna start, you know, I can do it in front here and it's gonna look better. All right. so. Once we do that, we're going to be able to see plant carrots. We can do potato. We can do wheat. But the basically for the tutorial, we're going to do carrots. And we're going into the night. And they're not going to do anything. 
But let's play some carrots here before we call it a day here. Let's play some carrots along all this way. I think the more the more we have, the better. I think that's gonna be pretty nice right there. Maybe we, we're probably gonna need a little bit more. But yep, yeah, the night is here. Are they still working? They are not. See, they they stop working. They just wandering around, and of course, drink water and eat food. <laughs> All right, back to the day. Good morning, beavers. How are you? So currently, we're sitting at um, eight adults and three children for a total population of eleven. And now we already said about the homeless. We have a district center. I don't know what this is. So it tells us gather flag. So we have seven buildings. And uh, let's see, let's hover over it. Empl okay, so employment. Okay, so district center, gather flag. Okay, perfect. There's one unemployed beaver, and that unemployed beaver will work on the farmhouse. Once it's built, of course. We have, actually, we need to do, we build small water tanks. I'm going to build them right away. I know it's going to ask for it. As I say, I played the game a little bit. And I'm going to place these water tanks around this area. A couple of them right here. Or maybe what we can do, we can build them. No, we let's kind of leave it next to the water pump. I think that's going to look good. It's going to be very beneficial for us. We, if we want to take advantage of this area for the farm, we can do those two right there. We can expand that way. What worries me right now is the, the wood, right? We don't have that many wood or that much wood. And we need to unlock the forester as soon as possible i think that's going to be the first science points that i'm going to spend they're going to go towards the forester because the wood is very scarce right here so you can see only a little bit here maybe a couple here and there's nothing much here and of course those dead trees i think once we flood this area if we have to these trees will recuperate and i grow i, I think so i'm hoping so and i'm assuming that's the way it works is otherwise they wouldn't be there Oh, well, maybe decoration, but a birch. Yep, resources, it died. Oh, so it died, it, it won't come back. It's water and alive. Okay. Yeah, this game is pretty nice. It's, uh, I've seen a couple of videos. I've seen, I, it's been in my wish list for a while, for a very while. When they announced it, I wanted to play so badly, but I didn't, never had time to do so. But now I'm playing it and we are playing it together, you guys. So, all right, so we have a farm. We should, I mean, complete the tutorial. We need seven feet, 70 fields, which I'm assuming I already did completely. I like the way how it crosses, the path crosses. That looks nice. All right, so it looks like we have to build a log pile to, of course, you know, to start collecting all the logs, a small warehouse and a small water tank. And it's actually asking us to build three water tanks. So let's go ahead and build those three right away, right there. And then the log, is it here? Uh, storage okay log pile oh perfect it fits just perfectly there so let's go ahead and place it right there and then the warehouse on the other side i think that's gonna be nice and then let's place the warehouse on the other side and this building as you can see this building is flat and what it does is you see we can build on top of each other of each, each building even houses so that's a good thing however we're going to need to unlock the stairs. Otherwise, they're not going to be able to do, to, you know, to enter the building. Same with the houses. The houses need to be connected to a path. So, for example, here, my thinking here, next, when we need to build the houses, what we can do is, let's go ahead and grab the path, and we can actually build path on, you know, on, on the back of the city center and build the houses right here. And I think that's the way we're going to do it here. I don't know if they, they, I think there's monuments. Yep, there are monuments, labor monument, flame of progress. And I guess I, I wanted to like maybe put something here for decoration. That, that would be nice, right? One thing I've, I've, I need to get used to is the controls, right? To, to move the camera around. I'm used to using uh, the middle mouse for foundation. And you say it, it, it won't let me, I don't know if there is a, I try finding a, a bind, a key binding for this. It won't let me stay in this camera because I would like to see the city moving in this angle for a little bit, you know? If you know that keybind, please let me know in the comment section. I appreciate that. All right, let's go ahead and speed up time here while we wait for our beavers to finish the task. They have to build three water tanks. It looks like we need a total of uh, 45 logs, and this doesn't need any logs, and this needs 
So we need a total of 60 logs. Uh, do we need to build another? Uh, we got in tonight. Do we need to build another flag? I'm going to place another flag. I usually don't like to get ahead of myself, but but I think, oh, you know what it is? No, we don't need to get another log. It's just uh, we need to mark this area for cutting. I don't know if you did notice too, by the way. Uh, we'll need to, let's see, let's cancel this. The trees look a little bit different, right? Than this one. I wonder if that special tree may be racing or something. Hmm, interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and cut all of these. And let's uh, send them to sleep and wake in the morning. And day four is here, guys. Our third night. It went perfectly. I'll tell you, I slept like a baby. <laughs> so one thing I, I, I forgot to mention before is that we can set up the working hours. We can have them work for 20 hours, of course. We can have them work for 16, 17. I'm just going to leave it as default right now. Since I haven't played the game much, I don't know was the ideal maybe 18 maybe 19 but i mean think about it working 19 hours a day that kind of like <laughs> that's like slavery right <laughs> all right so let's kind of mark these just to you know make sure they don't do anything crazy here all right so they keep building these two water tanks we still yet to build we're waiting for that to get built maybe we need to expand these a little bit so they can reach that way but do we leave it as is the berry situation is not looking beautifully. I'm assuming, I'm, I'm wondering if we can actually destroy these bushes. It'll be nice if we could or something. Harvest them to the, you know, to the end and delete it. One thing I'm worried about is I wonder if, okay, so the water is flowing this way. So we want to put the dam. I wonder if we can put the dam somewhere here, right? Or we can actually place it here right in the middle, right? So we have this water store. And it doesn't go away. Hmm, interesting. But one thing I, I'm worried about is I don't know if that's something that I need to consider. Is like there is a massive rain. All I've seen is droughts. So if there's a massive rain and, and our city it's in danger of being flooded. Hmm. I don't know. If it doesn't, if it's not in the game, that might be a really good idea. So you you need to build. Well, that's gonna be a maybe it's not that good though, because if you that that will push you in in into the land and then the river won't be as useful as you might want it to be all right looks like the, our fourth night just kicked in wow yeah the nine and day flies in this game right all right so it looks like our beavers keep uh, working there let's see if we can actually start looking around holding post the holder assists workers within a district in carrying goods Okay, so this is just basically a transporter. Housing, we have two the lodge and a lodge mirror. As you can see, the door is in the other side. We have water. We have the water dump. This charges water. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder how we can use that. Um, well, maybe, yeah, like maybe basically like uh, irrigation. Do we have that here? Yep, yeah, there you go. Irrigation tower. Yeah, every farm needs irrigation, you know. <laughs> There's another game that uses irrigation as well. Very nice game. If you haven't, I've, I actually uploaded a, a video for that game called End Zone, A World Apart. Really nice game too. All right, it looks like we're beaver are very busy. What I'm going to do is just to speed up here a little bit and actually add a third flag. And I think that's going to speed up things a little bit, make it a little bit more more productive for them because all we're waiting is logs right we all the all the tanks are, are ready and we need eight more logs and then the wood pile the log pile is already finished we can also of course once the warehouse is built and finished which we, we can tell them what to store in that warehouse what not to store so that's another thing that we can actually do maybe we don't we won't need that uh well he's already building it he can do it well, it looks like we actually have one unemployed, 10 adults, and one children. I wonder if there's a way to actually... Oh, no, that's the uh, menu game. To actually see our beaver's name. Is that way we can see them? The beaver. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, so we can click here, but can we see a list, though? I wonder if there's, like, a, a button. Well, we'll give it a try later on. All right, looks like we are being told to build six houses so let's go ahead and build them right away 
I want it, I, I kind of want to do a, like an apartment, right? Like one on top of the other, but we cannot do it because we don't have the stairs just yet. So let's go and build them right here. Three, four, five, and a six one here. Perfect. And then we can extend this if we want to. We don't need to go in here. So what we can do is let's get and extend this path all the way down here. And we can come down here. If we need this area for something, we'll 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 do it. If not, we'll basically erase this one and use this one for a much lag, la larger warehouse. Or maybe we can do a lot warehouse here, another warehouse next to each other. We're gonna speed up time here. But we can maybe do a warehouse here. Yep, and then another thing there. Cool. All right. So yeah. Oh, that was uh, faster this time. Perfect. So welcome back. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Our sixth day, as you can see here, is a uh, temporary weather. It's got a speed up time here. They need to build their houses. And then, of course, we can actually, with those stairs, we can go up here if we have to, once we unlock the stairs. So we haven't gained any science point, and I believe it's because we need to build an inventor. All right. So be inventor is kind of like a, a research center. I wonder where, where do we want to place I mean that research center there I don't I don't think that's a bad idea I'll tell you that I'm gonna place this right there what does it need oh it needs only 12 locks so let's go ahead and wait for them to build it everything is looking phenomenal you guys all we're doing right now is waiting 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 but believe me I've seen big beautiful cities and that's where what we are all about here right just to build big and beautiful cities so it looks like it's a harvesting time. Our beavers are harvesting the carrots that, that they grew with a lot of, of, you know, work, hard work. So they're harvesting, it's harvesting season for carrots and the lodge are completely built. And we're going into our eight, seventh night. So this is almost done. And what did I did notice is that basically our forest is basically, you know, getting empty. But one thing I also noticed is that they, they grow pretty fast. Those trees grow pretty, pretty fast. So, uh, you know, on day six, they, you know, I just saw them going bigger and bigger. So I was like, oh, they're growing. And one thing I did notice as well, if you click on a house, listen to the beavers, listen to them. They're snoring, huh? <laughs> so we have Havila, uh, who is uh, 31 years old. Wow, 35 years old. We have a... A lot of uh, contemporary adults here. We have some teenagers. The shelter, carrots. Okay, perfect. So uh, basically, a well-being is a five. So what's our well total well-being? Well-being is housing uh, four. Okay, a total of four well-being. Okay. So well-being is not as easy to get as, as I thought. Well, you know, it, it would make sense. Otherwise, you wouldn't lock the other tier pretty fast. So... If we give them green potato that, you know, give them 30% strength. So each type of nutrition, each type of food gives them something, right? And then same with the social life, we build them a campfire, we'll give them something. And with the lodge, they have, they're able to, you know, to procreate. So we're going to have be having babies once they start, you know, having the necessity of procreation. In fact, it looks like we have a, a newborn here. I wonder how we can actually... If we can see a list of all our beavers, if you know how to do so, please do let me know in the, you know, in the comment section. I would like to see all my beavers in one, you know, in one panel or something. If, if there's, if if it's possible, I'm thinking it might be possible. All right, so we build all the six lodges, and we have to build. Oh, <laughs> I went ahead. Yeah, I I thought so. We we had to build that adventure because we need to start unlocking stuff. So. We only need four more uh, wood, so let's go ahead and speed up time here. So the inventor is finished, right? That was quick. All right, so where where do we do we? Okay, so it basically produces three points every three point one hour. I'm assuming that gets better, you know, by the beaver. Maybe it, it you know increases the the job a skill. Maybe hmm, we'll see. All right, he's, okay, he's he's a very kid, he's a very young guy, eight years old. All right, so it looks like we have to uh, build a water wheel, and let's see what that's for. We can now start producing more advanced resources, but some buildings, okay. So we need, okay, so the buildings require power to do so, okay. 
Build, build a water wheel by the shore of the re on the river. It is dependent on the water flow. Makes sense. So it will stop producing energy when the, there is no water. Okay. It completely makes sense. So we have the wheel here. Oh, your beavers are happier than ever. You have reached a new well-being of... Okay. Uh, let's see the goals. Okay. So all these are all the goals we have to do. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's build that water uh, wheel. So it has to be on the water. It is dependent on water flow, so it will stop producing. So I'm assuming it might need to be here on the water. Hmm, that's pretty interesting because it let me it lets it lets me build it here, but what are we gonna use it here for, right? Alright, so I'm pretty interested in how how this works. Do we have any more? Produces power should be placed in water on a riverbank. Okay, in water on a riverbank. Okay. So let's go ahead and do it. Hmm, interesting. Where do we want to do it? Maybe here? We'll put another? Or maybe here? I actually like it here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it there and then connect it with the road. Where's the road here? Power connection is blocked. Okay, so that's where it fits the power. Perfect. Okay, something like that. We can actually put another pump, I mean, a tank here if we need to, and another pump here. Okay. I like I like how it's not straight line. It's just basically like a shore, right? So they're gonna be building in there, and then the power connects here. Wondering what we need to build after that. A power wheel. Probably we need to build one of these. Or oh, no, this is maybe a beaver. Okay, so they. <laughs> so it's one of those that you give a hamster that they run. Okay, <laughs> okay, cool. A straight power shaft. Okay, so oh look at this. Interesting. So that requires some wood. Transfers power. Okay. Transfers power. A, a turn. A T section. A T intersection. A shaft. Okay, cool. So we're probably going to need to be running a grid, kind of, along the city to power some buildings. I wonder if this requires power to make it faster. Hmm. It doesn't say, though. But we're producing science very slowly, but we're producing. That's what's more, most important, right? So how much we need for the Forester? We need uh, 60. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. So we should be getting this build SAP. Everybody's working, working, working. I wonder if we have to build another. Hmm. Can they reach this area? They can. So why don't we tell them to also cut this area right here? They should be. So they reach. These, both of them reach. Uh, actually, all of them reach. So. They should be able to come down here and cut the trees if they... Because I'm, I'm assuming they're waiting for the trees to grow to cut them. So they can come down here. We can actually place another one here temporary if we need to. All right, we're currently sitting at 21 science point. Everything is looking good. The food is looking good. The berries, the carrots, the wood is looking okay. The water is always looking good. That's important. Uh, you you die faster if you are dehydrated rather than, you know, starvation. They had you know if you're dehydrated you die very very fast so always keep yourself you know always keep drinking water that's very important i'm very curious about you know the destruction of these though but i don't want to do it unless it's a necessity it's, it's you know basically that we have to do it all right so i'm gonna while they build that i'm gonna like take a look around the city or the map looks like there are some ruins here uh, scrap metal okay so that's where we're gonna be getting metal i'm assuming all right cool oh what is that on the ground ruins oh wow Ooh, what do they get from there very ruins full of metal scraps okay can be mined too perfect so we're gonna be do some we're gonna be doing some mining in this game as well it looks a little bit as a um, like mime mimecast right i know mimecast but uh, <laughs> yeah it looks my like minecraft it looks a little bit like minecraft and I like the I like the style. I really do. All right, so let's see. So we build the water wheel. So we need to build a a wheel, actually, water wheel, lumber mill, and a lumber mill. Okay, so we have to build the lumber mill and then power the lumber mill. Um, the lumber mill produces planks. Makes sense. All right, so where do we want to put our lumber production? And I'm thinking maybe here, somewhere here, right? So let's go ahead and bring. Although I don't want to destroy all the trees we have until we... Well, the forester is around the corner. So what we can do is we can bring this down here. 
and place the lumber mill right there. I think that's gonna be that's a good idea. So let's place the lumber mill right here next to the the flags, and then we have to power it. So I'm assuming to power we have to use either any of these. So does it take space to? Hmm, interesting. That's gonna be pretty interesting. So after like 10 minutes trying to figure out how to work this out, how to place everything, I managed to power the lumber mill, guys. <laughs> yes, it took me a while, I have to admit. But yeah, at least I figured it out. I had to stop one of the lumber flags in order to have a, enough workers for the lumber mill. So the lumber mill is producing planks. I'm assuming they're going to be storing in the warehouse. We're currently sitting at uh, 16 uh, beavers, of which uh, four of them are babies so we finished this basically this quest we're now being told to build a forester but that's gonna happen in the next episode guys if you like this uh, series you want me to make a, this a series make sure to let me know in the comment section i'm liking this game a lot and there's a future here so thank you for watching thank you for being here don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below i will see you in the next episode i will see you next time and i will see you very very soon Bye bye